Tairi te aroha, toro mai o ringa, ki aroha tātou, piki mai, kake mai, whakatū mai rā, welcome! Welcome to the major semi-final, welcome to the national secondary school competition, welcome to the final game of day two, Auckland girls grammar. Finish top of the table in their pool, take on the second placed pool B, Takura Kaupapa Māori or Kaikohe girls. Our captains are there with the man in the middle, Jackson McGowan. A few of these Kaikohe players will be familiar with Jackson. Done a bit of running around up there as a match official. And the Auckland girls grammar, Captain Paiawilo. Just about ready to take things off. In due course. We'll take a look at our lineups. Auckland Girls Grammar players to look out for. Soraya Pale Pale, number nine player of the tournament last year. Also the 13 and captain, Paya Uilo. Wonderful ball player. Alongside nine, Letitia Michener. But talent right across the field. For Auckland Girls Grammar coached by Dave Rewi. Alongside. Neville Ngaika. Taylor Bene Masoi also in there at fullback. We used to sing the star Braxton Sorensen McGee, but she's on duty this weekend with the Auckland Tornadoes. As we take a look at Tikura Kopapa Māori or Kaikohe, standout players Tui Kingi, Nikki Lee Tapuro. Uh, scored a double in the previous match, the last pool match. But of course, they're coached by Kath Kiremete, Kiwi Fern, New Zealand Māori All-Star. Doing a lot of mahi up in Te Whare Tapu o Ngāpuhi in the Taitokero. And they should be proud to kura kaupapa Māori o Kaikohe. But a second, so they're in the top four of the Auckland, uh, of the New Zealand Rugby League National Secondary Schools. What a placing for them. But let's get ready, semi-final rugby league. Auckland girls grammar kicking off. Running from left to right. Captain Paiawilo about to put things on the way. Our match officials for this one. Harley Wall alongside Finney Davis, chairman of New Zealand Māori Touch. And the man in the middle, Jackson McGowan. Right, kia ori te, kia ori te. Put on a key wall. Semi-final rugby league now. The ball goes into touch, which should mean a turnover. Exactly what Auckland girls' grandma would like. To get possession of the ball straight away. As a strategic kick here by Paiawilo, the captain. Saw they went up to the 10. And decided to kick it. Find the ground, find the outline. Scrum feed in the center of the field. Play of the second uh, Auckland Invitational side there, Danny Nicole Gray. Heidi Aranui. A strong run here from Giovanni Suani. Giovanna. Mishnah in their dummy half. Danny Nicole. Soraya Pale Pale, danger player. Finds her front, loses the ball to turnover. She's just as surprised as everyone else. But Jackson McGowan right there in the middle. Had no issues at all with that one. As Giovanna Suwani takes that tackle there. Backs it up with another one. But the Kura Kaupapa Māori or Kaikohe forcing a turnover. Tapudo. Just a slight mistake there in the ruck. Nikki Lee. She's the leader of the side. Just here, you see the ball just went a little bit too far as it was played back. Which causes lost control of the ball. This Pyatt Wheelo takes it off the back of the scrum. She runs forward. Big run from Pyre. Danny Nicole. Great. Here she is now with the ball in hand. Dummies. 
pushes, but the defensive line of the Kaik uh, the Kaikohe lady uh, girls up to the task. Soraya Pale Pale, MVP, straight over the top. It's the first try. Three minutes gone. Wonderful player, this one. Represented Samoa at the PYC, Pacifica Youth Cup, in the under 16 section last year. As Latisha Michna directs her, I want you here. Find the space. Didn't find the space, so she went straight over the top. Take nothing away from Elina Moyakiola. She's had a wonderful tournament. But it is the, the fourth game. It is the end of the day. Day two. And these girls have been putting a lot of effort in. But Soraya Pale Pale. First try of the match in the major semi-final. Paioilo looks to convert. Takes her time. You can see the wind in the background. Check the washing. Wheeler with the attempt. It's good. Harley Wall's happy. Finney Davis is happy. Adds the extra two. As we see, Letitia Michner, wonderful at directing her players off the ball. She finds Soraya, and Soraya, you know, one of her strategies is if I can't go around them, I'm going to go straight through them. But Kai Kohe, just unfortunate with one of the play the balls. If I take nothing away from them, Tui Kingi, I'll be watching out for her. Alongside Queenie Kingi. As we get things on the way. It's a short kick. It crosses the 10. Lofo Siosuya. Is right there, but Paiwilo picks it up, and here comes Letitia Michner. Nicole Gray, Soraya Pali Pali again. Offloads, finds Danny Nicole. Michner, Giovanna Suwani. Look at the wonderful numbers in defense from Kai Kohe. Gee, these girls are working hard. Here's Phoenix, Phoenix Rhodes. She can't get through the defense of Charisma, Charismia, Charismia Andrew Davies. As Taylor Benay Masoi comes for a hit up. And Kai Kohe, strong defense. Forcing a knock on. Auckland Gills Grammar making good meters. But no ball security. Jackson McGowan rules, knock on. As uh, they come out of their own end now, the Kaipo here side. Big defense by Kaikohe up to the task. Sounds like a penalty in favor. In favor of Kaikohe. Wonderful. They needed it. There was some pressure coming on, but they held up. They stood up. And they're fronting up yet again, Kaikohe. 12 meters gained off their first hit up. They shift it. Marcus are doing remarkably well for the Auckland side. But Nikki Lee Tapuro, she wants to come back to the center of the field. And that's Elena Moyakiola. Dummies tries to break through. Penalty yet again. It's back to back penalties against Auckland girls. Some momentum shift here 
for the Kai Kohe team. Taputo now decides, no, let's get some extra meters. Let's take the kick. As they kick it down, there's an extra 15 now for the Kurako Papa Māori or Kai Kohe. Referee Jackson McGowan just having a look and he wasn't happy uh, with the with the defensive line. And then the, the nonsense on the floor. Rips the ball out then in the cold grey. That's Queenie Kingy. One of two Kingies in this Kaikohe side. Tapudo. Feeds it out now. Melanie Siosuya. Got Lofo Suisuya in the centres at number four. Here comes the ever busy Elena. Tapudo asking for a quick play to ball. Shifting the ball wide. Here comes the Martire Allen. Oh, Jaden Tango. Tapudo scoops and goes left hand. This is Karasim, Karismia. Go to the right hand side. They're trying to number up. It's a grubber kick. Doesn't come off exactly how she wants it. But they do get to the end of their set. The Kaikoya team. And now Auckland girls need to work out of their own end as Tapudo leads the defence. Pushes up strongly. Mitchner. Coming in for a run now and a break has been made. It looks like Michaela, Michaela Matautia. Mitchner, Danny, Nicole Gray inside, ball for the captain, Paiwi Low. Danny, Nicole Gray, dummy Sarai Pale Pale, shifts it out to the center, Marcina Froon. Ball goes to ground. Turnover. Kaikohe really making the Auckland side work. Auckland girls grammar. As the ball goes in front of Michaela Poi Matangi Matautia. And Kai Kohe now keeping the background. That's Tui Kingi. She's a good worker, this girl. Always puts her hand up, gives her forwards a break. Likewise with the half, Tapudo. Six nil the score. As Elena, Elena Moyakiola, just crossing the forty. Great meters here, and some post match, uh, post meters. Starting to find some momentum through Marty De Allen. Allen shifts the ball wide. Tapuro, back to Allen. Fifth and final kick goes through, but taken well there by Taylor Bonet. Masawi, oh, my apologies, Charlie Fleming. Mechner, Pale Pale, first try scorer, only try scorer of the match. But they take her well, and here now is Masawi, the fullback. Coming into the line, alleviating pressure from her forwards. Willow, two hands on the ball, finds the half down in Nicole Gray. Phoenix Rhodes. Mitchner, Nicole Gray. She finds the six, that's Michaela. Michaela looks to go all the way. And it is the second try for Poi Matangi Matautia. Michaela Poi Matangi Matautia. That's a mouthful. But not only that, she was a handful for the defense. As Michaela looks for, looks up. 
Sees a bit of space on the outside. Uses the fend. For the last line of defense, Melehe Maloto holds on. Doesn't give up. As Auckland girls grab a crossover for the second try. Pyatt Wheelo successful with the first conversion. Thirteen minutes gone in the first half. Wilo moves forward, but the wind picks that one up, and it's unsuccessful. Score remains ten nil. Seven minutes remaining. Strong running there from Michaela. Upper, upper strength in the body. Able to use that fin really well. As Jackson McGowan gets ready to start the match again. This is the major semi final. So, winner goes through to the final tomorrow. It's all day tomorrow. Final for the under 15 boys carnival section. The under 15s championship section. The girls championship and of course the boys premiership. As Kai Kohe look to the sideline. But Masina Furun brings it back up the center of the field. She beats one and crosses right at the halfway line. First tackle. Michna, Danny Nicole Gray, Turai Pali Pali. Looking for the quick play to ball. Michna comes right back to her captain. Wilo continues with the momentum, pushes forward, finds space. Danny Nicole Gray keeps alive, crosses over. It's the third try for Auckland Girls Grammar. Non stop roll forward, roll over. Roll on. Started here with Pai Wheelo though. Well, you could take it back a few. But Wheelo can continue with the momentum. And Danny Nicole Gray. She got the player of the final. Or player of the rep, uh, match. For the representative game between Auckland Invitational and Aotearoa Whanui. She ended up in a sling though. But managed to still walk away with the play of the match. Wearing the number seven for Auckland Girls Grammar, Danny Nicole Gray. As Pia Uilo lines this one up. Should be happy with the placing of this one. Just to the right of the upright. Sun in the eyes of the match officials. There's two of them there. You see in the background the little villages. The little pods. Strong wind. Pushing the ball over off the tee. Quite a few important matches taking place around Bruce Pullman Park. As Pia Uilo converts that one. Did take her a few goes at it, but that's because of the win.
in Pool A, Auckland Girls Grammar finished on top with Macaulay High School finishing in at second and the St Mary's from Wellington at third. An unfortunate last year's grand final winners of the secondary school, Manurewa High School, unable to come away with a victory at the tournament so far. So that's the one, two, three, four for Pool A and Pool B, Southern Cross Girls. Uh, Southern Cross Campus at one and Kaikohe Girls finishing second place in Pool B Tefano Anoa at third and the Kaiapoi side from the South Island finishing fourth in Pool B and so we do come to the crossover Auckland Girls taking on Kaikohe here and then Southern Cross take on Macaulay in the other major semi-final it's a penalty as we take a look, quite a few numbers in the tackle. Hands all over the ball as it comes free. Referee McGowan right across that one. And you can see in the background, that's the St. Mary's girls. Many of the players from Nga Hauefao Wainui Omata. As we restart the match, substitutions being made. Heidi Aranui out there. Alongside the new half, Alisa Vahakolo Ngaika. Coming onto the ball, Lexus Alo. Quick play the ball for Lexus. Paiawilo, danger, danger. Danny Nicole Gray shifting the ball. She's got one, she's got two. That's Michaela Poi Matangi Matautia with another try for Auckland Girls Grammar. Wonderful shift of the ball. Everyone in their lanes. Wilo taking her time. And then Danny Nicole Gray just looking for the option. She decides drawing passes the move we go to. And Michaela. She looked like she was trying to offer the ball out to her winger Masina. But decides no. We'll go for my double. Get a brace. Stretch the score out. 20 nil. The winner of this one will take on the winner between Southern Cross Campus and Macaulay High School. Can give you an update there. 10 nil. Uh, 10 all at the moment. As Pyat Wilo attempts a conversion. Very patient with their kicks. Strong wind blows it away as you hear the hoot up. And referee Jackson McCowan calls half time here in the major semi final of the girls' championship for the New Zealand secondary school competition. Second half, not too far away, Motonumai, Tenakoto, Katoa.
Let's get you ready to go out there and have an epic rugby league game. But first things first, let's have a hmm. A simple warm-up is a game changer. Not only will it improve your performance, but it will reduce the chances of you getting an injury. And if you want to skip the sore muscles, don't skip the cool down. Now tackling is a big part of the game, so don't cheat on the technique. A good tackle technique will help keep everyone safe. Collisions happen all the time, so it's important to know how to spot a concussion and what to do if it happens to you or a teammate. Sweet as, have a hmm, then go get into it. At Pertech, we understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up running and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Using only world-class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertech from the pack. Pertech will keep you operating. Welcome back. Second half, major semi final, National Secondary School Tournament. Auckland Girls Grammar running from right to left against Takura Kopapa Māori or Kai Kohe. My name's Oni Honui Rapuna. If you can't remember that, they call me handsome. That's only because you can't see me. But it's back into the footy. Auckland Girls Grammar dominated that first half, but Kai Kohe done remarkably, uh, remarkably well defensively in terms of stopping the onslaught that is Auckland Girls Grammar and that's Giovanna Suani Zara Lavasa Avoli settles things down 35 metres out that is Miracle Portini Herbert finds standing Nicole Gray Taylor Benane Masawi and this is the two time try scorer Michaela Poi Matangi Matautia to knock on and this is what I mean about the Kaikohe girls. They've stopped them. They've held them back. They've made them question the options they take. And Kaikohe. Able to, to force an error. And stop. And, uh, you know, stopping the Auckland girls' grammar from completing that set. But that's Kingy. Queenie Kingy to be exact. That's Tapuro. Big defense now. She ran 10, lost 5, but she plays the ball quickly. That's the half. Tapuro. Kingy yet again. Oh. No, that's uh, Elina. Elina Moyakiola. Tapuro looking for her kicker. Wonderful first set in the second half. By, uh, by the Kaiko here side. They get the bounce. Referee calls fifth and final now. So they did kick early. Tapuro. She looks for the danger player, Marty De Allen. Kicks, what a placement of the kick. They have to work their way out now. Masawi 
looking for the wingers to come in and do some mahi. So Miracle Portini Herbert has a has a dash. They come back to the blind hand side. It's Giovanna Suani. Giovanna did make the secondary school team last year. And you can see by the form she held, she has. Is Alisa, Alisa. Taylor Ben uh, Danny Nicole Gray. Taylor Bene Masoi. Chips beats one on the inside. That's the 30. Gray. Wilo. It's the captain Pio Wilo. As Auckland Girls Grammar. They go back to Ta uh, Danny Nicole Gray. Taylor Bene Masoi. 17 is Laie. Storming on in the offload. Will it be three for Michaela? They still keep the ball alive. This is Potoru Rokeni. Turnover. Well done, Kaikohe. As you see, the Auckland girls side, they're realizing it's the fifth and final. So they try to keep the ball alive. Twisting, turning. Just try to ground it. But Kaikohe keep them out. As they do their best to get out of their own 10. They shift the ball. Good run here. Tapudo out of scoots out of dummy half. Goes back, comes back into the inside. Saw some space behind the ruck. But it's the presence of Renee Walker. Renee Walker to Ile Tufunga. They're penalised now. So we take a look at the replay. They're just shooting off the line. No one back to 10. As Kai Kohe now crossed the halfway. First hit up. They're doing some really good work. Although it's not reflected on the scoreboard. They are doing such a good job here at the Kaikohe side. Sixteen, Tangatira Tito Brown. Pushing for more meters. They set up here to the right hand side. Allen. It's Marty to Allen. Still with the ball in hand. Decides to take them on. Tapuro. Shoots back to the centre. This is Elena Moyakiola. Elena beats one. Elena just short. Looks for the play the ball. Tapudo there. Shifts it to the left hand side. They're looking for numbers. Just caught flat there. Siosuya. Grubber kicks through. Not a bad option. Well done, Auckland Girls Grammar. But the kick from Mele here. Himaloto. Look at her go, Mele. That's the pink headgear you can see. Hard worker for Kaikohe. And look at the numbers in the tackle. This is Michna. The hooker. Capable of playing 13. A battle going on there in the ruck. As an offload's given. Michna. They go back to the blind side. Here's Pio Elo. Looks for some space. Finds the grass between the wing and fullback. Just too deep. Well read by Tui Kingi. Got some footy smarts about her, Kingi. As we take a look. A little bit of argy bargy. They carry on though. Tapudo. The hooker. The co captain. 12 metres off the head up. Marty De Allen. Just really having to go. It's Pianika Anderson. But Miracle Portini Herbert. 
Duty of care from our referee Jackson McGowan. Indicates to the H2O technician. Come onto the field, take a look. It was a clean hit up here. But Miracle Portini Herbert, the winger, you see her, just gets squashed in by her knee. It's like a bad twist. Does look serious. You see the right knee bends awkwardly. Michaela was in that first marker. And as the contact's made, you just see there, left knee. Gets into an uncomfortable position. As we stop time at 12 minutes, 42 remaining. Referee Jackson McGowan indicating for Medic. But Kai here finished second place in their pool. And they did have a tough pool. And at the moment in the other major semi-final is Southern Cross. 16 points to 10 over Macaulay. Macaulay High School. As we take a look back at this wonderful run from Erlina, Vivian Rose, Moyakiola. It's three metres short. They try to get the quick play to ball. We wish Miracle Bortini Herbert a fast, healthy recovery. As we get ready to resume play. Referee Jackson McGowan has caught a penalty against Auckland Girls Grammar. Held down in the tackle. And so New Zealand Māori touch chairman Finney Davis indicates where to restart. Just before the halfway line. Tapudo, co-captain. Kaiko here now crossing over the 50. Here comes one of the strong runners, Jaden Tango. Ball comes free. I'm not sure what he will rule. That's a strip. Too many in the tackle. Back-to-back -back penalties here for Kai Kohe, and what a hit-up. What a hit-up there from Jaden Tango. Two-on-one rip. Illegal. It's the Kai ball referee. Kai Kohe now. Chance to put some points on the scoreboard. Just a bit of a delay in the play, waiting for the ball. Win of this one. Advances through to the final. Here we go. Short ball at the line. That's Melanie Siosuya. Keeps the ball alive as Moyakiola. Kingi. Queenie Kingi. Keep an eye for Nikili Tapuro. They decide to go to the short side. Siosuya. That's low four. Low four. Here comes Jaden Tango. She knows one way. Tapudo. Moyakiola looks to offload. They do. Tui Kingi trying to get involved. Gets her hands on the ball. 
is Marty De Allen. Good playmaker, the skill. It's intercepted though. And she looks to go all the way, but the chasing, the chasing from Nikki Lee Tapuro. She gathers Zara Leavasa. Wonderful work. I told you about Melehe Maloto. Hard working young girl. Michna. This is uh, Leavasa who made the initial intercept. As we see Moyaki Ola. Just the, the duration of the games and the fatigue kicking in. Nonetheless, they haven't given up Kaikohe. They'll keep them out as best as they can. Danny Nicole Gray. And the ball forced over the touchline. Well done. Te kura kaupapa Māori o Kaikohe. As we take a look at the intercept here. Jumps into the air. Zara Leavasa Avauli. Now it looks like she is going all the way, but coming across the other side of the field was Mele Himaloto. As you see the offload, and Taylor Benay Masoi chopped down from Mele Himaloto. That was all heart, all effort. As Kaikohe continue to keep Auckland Girls Grammar out. Scoreless in the second half. Would it be surprised if that's Jaden Tango? And sure it was. Sosuya. Here comes Tango again. Another hit up in the set. She's giving absolutely everything. Tapuro, she's met well, and the referee calls fifth and final turnover. Auckland Girls Grammar, they start at the halfway. Here comes Charlie's Fleming. Mitchner finds the captain, Uilo. Paya made the national youth team who took on the club teams. Uh, the club teams who took on the secondary school teams, I should say. She was also a part of the New Zealand Māori setup. As we find Danny Nicole Gray, Short Ball, Renee Walker, Tuile Tufunga, Taylor Benay Masawi. Good tackle from Martide Allen. Auckland girls, here comes Soraya Pale Pale. It's a second try for Soraya. Just ain't no stopping it. The top try scorer of the girls' championship, Soraya Pale Pale, averaging two tries per match. As you see, soft hands, change of angle, flat ball, and the only way. Over the top. Twenty-four nil with the conversion to come. Bit of noise over there on field two. There's the major semi-final. Nicole versus Southern Cross Campus. Twenty points to ten that match in favour of Southern Cross Campus. They did top their pool. There's a new goal kicker, Danny Nicole Gray, converts the try of Soraya Palepale. Stretches out the lead. You just see Soraya understand her role, understands the positioning, and with the presence that she has. Who would want to get in front of that? Just even I wouldn't. You get run over. 
If anything, I'll be the one crying. 26 0, Auckland Girls Grammar. Over to Kura Kaupapa Māori o Kaikohe. It's not our Huda. Keep in mind, we did have the delay in play. Referee calling time for player welfare. Just awaiting the ball. Milehe Maloto about to kick things off. Kicks it through. Himaloto. She finds Danny Nicole Gray. And coming on to the ball. That's Phoenix Rhodes. Michna. Renee Walker to Eletufunga. Michna looking left and right, deciding. Go with the right way. 17 is Leia. Potoru Rokeni is Giovanna. They shift it, they find their shape. Draw and pass and gets it to Taylor Benay Masoi. She checks the line and comes back in field. Charlie's Fleming. Soraya. Still moving, still trucking along and offloads it to Leticia Michna. Close friends, these two, Soraya Palipale. Leticia Michner. And it's try time for Auckland Girls Grandma. Just the work here done by the forwards. They start a roll on and then they look alive. Checking for the support play and there's every good hooker. Right there. As Danny Nicole Gray lines up the conversion. Auckland Girls Grammar. They made the final last year. They took on Manurewa High School. And Manurewa just perping them in the final. Very close match. Convincingly, they take lead of this match. As Danny Nicole converts the try, scored by Leticia Michner. And this is the momentum we're talking about. Taylor Bonet, she has a look, decides to come back in field. She finds Shelley's Fleming. And Fleming, short ball. Soraya straightens things up, draws in all the players in the defense, and then looks outside of her own shoulder. And on the money, Leticia Michner. Mercy rule comes to mind. A minute to go. I don't think Kai Kohi would call it anyway. Why? They're in the top four of the girls' championship for the national secondary schools. They'll go to the end. Evidence of that is number 21, pink headgear, Melehemaloto. Small in stature, big in heart and effort. But Auckland Girls Grammar, Phoenix Rhodes, Michner. 15 for them, Lexus. Alexis Arlo, she crosses the half, Michna, that's Leie Potoruro Kenny, quick play the ball, the markers went square, Soraya Pale Pale, wrapped up there, involved in the tackle is Mele Himaloto, referee calls time, and it's full time ladies and gentlemen, in the major semi-final for the girls championship, Convincing winners, Auckland Girls Grammar, 32 0. 
over te kura kaupapa Māori o kai kohe for 2023 National Secondary School Tournament. Tomorrow is a big day. It's finals. Be sure to join us here. Streaming live by the Stream Shop on YouTube. Find us through the New Zealand Rugby League website. And of course, for up-to-date information, check out Sporty. It's got it all across the games. That's me for today. Hone Hone Weed Phoenix, Chris, good work today, gentlemen. We're signing out. Kakite Anno.